In this video I'll be demonstrating the chroma key and virtual set capabilities in vMix. First we need to add a source that we want to chroma key. This can be a camera where you're in front of a green screen backdrop or it can be a video clip. So we'll click add input and we'll select our chroma key video clip for this demonstration. To chroma key the green background simply double click the input and go to the color key tab. Here I can select the eyedropper button and select one of the green colors in the image. Then click auto chroma key for vMix to choose the best settings. You can also fine tune these settings by dragging any of these sliders and you can click anti-aliasing to smooth out rough edges. Once the chroma keying input is ready we can close this window. Next we can add a virtual set. To do this, click Add Input, select the Virtual Set tab, and select one of the Virtual Set templates available. You can also build your own Virtual Set using the blank template, which I'll show later. For now, click the Demo UV Map Virtual Set from Virtual Set Works and click OK. To display this Virtual Set in the preview, simply click the input. Now we'd like to combine our virtual set video into the virtual set. To do this we click the setup button and then we can select a number of different layers and customize what is displayed within each one. For example there's background, screens, stage and talent. So we want to put our video into the talent layer. So we select talent and then we select the input. As you can see our chroma keyed footage has been inserted into the virtual set. Each virtual set allows you to zoom in and out from various camera angles. So we can click the camera tab and select one of these four camera angles to zoom in or zoom out. I can also select the transition speed of this virtual set zoom. Here we have fast, medium and slow buttons and we can also customize our own transition effect here. We also have a cut option where we can simply switch between the different camera angles. We can also customize our camera angles by right clicking one of the four boxes. So here I can choose a zoom level and I can choose a pan level and then click OK. And then I can simply click that new zoom preset to jump to it using the speed setting I've selected. So if I select it slow, I can zoom in and out between our different zoom options. As you can see in this virtual set template there's also a video layer or a screens layer that we can place another input. So first we need to add a video clip into vMix. So I'll click add input, select a video clip and click OK. I'm also going to click the play and the loop button so that video keeps playing in a loop. Then I can go to the setup tab again and then from the layers select screens and then select our video clip. Now a video clip is playing on the video screens in the virtual set. And I can zoom in and out like so. You can see in this chroma key footage that there is a bit of a chair in the corner of the video. We can crop that out by double clicking the chroma keying input and going to the position tab. So I can crop X here. So now we can see the seat has disappeared from our virtual set. I can also create my own custom virtual set using the built-in blank template option. To do this, click Add Input, select the Virtual Set tab, and then click Blank and click OK. Now I can click the Setup tab and then select a source as my background. So we'll select the video clip and then I can select layer 1 and select the chrome and key footage. As easy as that, I've now created my own virtual set template. And we can switch between it and various other sources just like any other input.